time and time I try to I try to to hey. taste the other hey. kind of food. Hi teacher. Hello. Daniel. How are you? One, one question. Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. You how, come on, come to, how about to try to, to eat a pork uh, uh, in the morning? Would you try no, that? In the, in the morning no because it's really <laughs> really hard but I don't know. But okay. uh, I try to I try to taste everything to 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 a lot of food but I don't know. Another thing that I get my attention gets my attention is atum. Is how do you say atum, atum teacher? Uh, atum. Uh, the tuna. same, the same, uh, the same. Okay, tuna. Uh -huh, atum, tuna. Uh, atum, tuna, and uh, liver, liver of of beef. Wow, in the morning, uh, not cook. What is the, what did you say, crudo, teacher? Uh, raw. Uh, R A W. Rob. Wow, this is Rob. amazing! In the in all the all the people, uh, the Chinese people, try and look at this. Wow, uh, and the morning is really hard. <laughs> Teacher, I'm in China just just now. I'm sorry. I I I stay in China in this oh. moment. Look. Ah, oh, really? <laughs> oh, I can see. <laughs> that's uh, <laughs> that's beautiful. That's nice, eh? And, yes. And look, what is that? Nice. What is it? That's a screen or something, or is your window? No, it's my window. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, it's nice. Oh, that's that's <laughs> how nice. Good to see you yeah. guys. So, are you ready? <clears throat> are you ready? Yes, teacher, ready. Yes. Ready. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I. Don't remember if I asked you to write a biography or someone or a personality or someone. Did I Ivan? Did I do it or I didn't do it? Oh, it's raining hard over there. So it's raining. It's raining yeah. cats and dogs. Okay. So yeah, here it started to rain, but and then suddenly stopped. So it's not raining anymore, but the weather is awful. It's always hot. It's always, I mean, it's it's awful over here. Okay, guys. So how many is, uh, how many are we? 13, 12, uh, you and me, 13. So um, let's give a minute. Yes, one minute because we cannot wait uh, too much. So, what were you talking about? You were talking about food. Yes, uh, Daniel was was telling me that he was in China, so yes, I, I didn't believe it until he showed me the his window. So I, I took advantage to ask him, yeah. uh, uh, "What's the food? What's the Chinese food like?" <laughs> <laughs> yes, teacher, in this similar in, life. In the in the side of the world, in the side well, of the world, the world, the food is really, really strange. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, wow. it's different though. <laughs> different costumes, <laughs> different costumes, different food, celebration. Everything is totally different. So in fact, uh Asian people are the they have the longest life. I mean, uh, they live longer than we do. Okay, because of the, you know, almost um, a lot of, yes, because of the food, because of the, the way they live. I mean, uh, it's, it's totally different. It's totally different though. But, uh, also, also, yes, Ivan. But do you know if, if the, uh, are the Chinese food uh, people now as, as, as the uh, people that like to exercise or, or not? Not that much. Mm, no, I really cannot tell you because I don't know much about it, their way of living. So, um, but, but I understand they they uh, they have a good diet. They uh, I don't know why they live longer. I will investigate during the weekend if I have time. So, but um, I don't know if they exercise or not. Uh, so, I ca I can tell you about it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, one fact is is uh, one fact is that they have they live longer okay, than cool. us. 
-hmm. uh -huh. no they live longer than us maybe it might be the food the way you're living uh there will be um different reasons not just one you know so sure. uh -huh, and that's it's different costumes so okay so um uh did uh, okay, so we're going to start as a start um, on the perspective. Uh, did you write? Did I ask you to write a biography or someone? Or I, I cannot recall that one. Uh, no, no, I don't remember uh, that you have said that. Yeah, no, hello, Mr. Uh, the uh, Okay, uh, okay, so. Well, we will continue on the next one. You know, but when we talk about someone's life, uh, if, for example, you, if I talk about myself, oh, by the way, some answers that I saw over there, I haven't checked the platform, but they got wrong because remember that, I will say this in Spanish, usamos las mismas reglas gramaticales de español. Empezamos con una letra mayúscula y terminamos con un punto. En algo, si no hay un punto y es filling in the blank, generalmente tenemos que usar una letra minúscula. Okay. I saw during over there like... It was a, a capital letter, uppercase letter, and as maybe the platformas, most of the la mayoría de platformas uh, lo toman como malo. No sé si las otras opciones que habían ahí, pero esa palabra estaba, no tenía que ser mayúscula, sino que minúscula. Hay que tener mucho cuidado en eso. De hecho, creo que dice al inicio, la plataforma te evaluará según yendo las reglas gramaticales eh, eh, correcta. Ayer alguien me preguntaba, no sé si en este grupo, el punto. El punto siempre va al terminar una oración. Y si seguimos escribiendo, la siguiente tiene que ser mayúscula. Well, en uh, computer, la siguiente uh, oh, siempre la pone en mayúscula, ¿no? Uh -huh. A menos que estemos escribiendo a mano, entonces sí tenemos que poner la mayúscula. Okay, so, but when we talk about someone's life, uh, a biography of someone, we say, I was born in 1964. Uh, I was living, I'm going to tell, to give myself as an, as an example. I was living in Chalatenango during uh, 12 years. I was living there from 1964, uh, to 1975, more or less, okay? So we always use a uh, time expression. And one and some important thing that uh, maybe um, I didn't mention, uh, when you talk, use time expressions, we use uh, all past, all forms of past. We use past continuum, we use simple past, we use uh, present perfect, Okay, I have lived in California for uh, five years. I have lived for in California uh, from 1962 to 1965. Okay, so and uh, so I used uh, either a uh, pass. I was living there for 10 years, okay? And so that's something really important that you had to take into account as well. Okay, um, but any questions about it in order to begin with something, a new topic, a new form? No questions about it? Ah, how good teacher. <laughs> Not just, a, just, a, just, <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. It was a joke. Really, really? <laughs> yeah, it was a joke. Okay, guys. Uh, let me uh, present a key and share sound. Okay. We're going to go with perspective. Uh, they will uh, have the the. the uh, new topic of the uh, for today's class okay so remember that we just have today's class and tomorrow okay so perspective what is the learning let's start with girls let's give the opportunity to girls and uh, jenny carolina 
what is the the learning objectives? What are the learning objectives of this um, perspective? A survey about the future. The example of future tense with will. Okay. Remember that will has different have different uh, forms that we can talk about the future. Okay. Uh, so we can talk about the future. Let's listen. Um, look at this at the questions over there. Uh, look at the pic. Oops, sorry. Look at the picture and what's what's going on over there. What's happening? Let me see. This went like in a different. Okay, boys. Jorge Alberto. And your own words, what's happening on the picture? Uh, maybe she's uh, relaxing mm -hmm. while watching off the monitor. Okay. Maybe, maybe she's... reading a letter. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, ladies, uh, Carla Selena. Yes. You, uh, what else can you can you add something else to the picture? Like I, Oscar, was Oscar? Uh, was saying about? Can you add something else and and extra information? What do you see over there? And something? Mm, about picture? Yeah, about the picture. The lady over there uh, watching on the the monitor or the TV. Yeah. And maybe she's relaxing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, she's uh, thinking about your future, maybe, or, or okay. she feels like uh, good. Okay, Man, she's feeling good. She's looking at the future. Um, what do you see on the on the TV, guys? What is this one? What's that? A microphone. A microphone. microphone. A microphone. Do we see any control remote over there? No. No. Mm -hmm. And what do you think? Uh, how do you think the lady changes the channels or or something? By her, her voice. Ah, by her voice. By her Ah, okay. Giving a comment to, to the TV. Oh, man. Are we far away from that situation or we're very close? It's very close, teacher. Yeah, it's very close. I remember watching Captain Picard, uh, uh, Star Trek, and Spock beat me out. And by 1990s, we have... Yes. Uh-huh. 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 Uh, 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 let's give it uh, okay, <laughs> Xiomara. Okay, Xiomara. And then you, Lino. We are, we are near to this uh, technology because nowadays we uh, do the same with the, uh, the program Microsoft Word. We can uh, say the word uh, not typing, just uh, speaking uh, the words. And yeah. it is. Uh, write down in the computer. Yes, that's right, that's right. We just say the word and uh, it come out with a audio or a text. Uh, okay, Lino, uh -huh. what, what were you saying? Jose Lino, it was you, right? Who were talking? Or... Good evening, teacher. Ah, it was someone else. But Lino, do you, can you add something to this? What uh, she said? Sorry, teacher. I uh, I come in is is right right oh, moment okay. Oh, because okay. I I ha I was in other situations. Okay, no problem. Who was talking before? Um um uh with um who was saying something? A boy, the boy, the boy, the boy, the man. The, I will call you the boy. <laughs> yeah. Ah, okay. Ah, uh, oh, okay, Oscar. Uh huh. Or one question about about this this part. It says, yeah, robots will be performing mass 
factory job. I mean, that, that, that would be in the States, right? In the States. But uh, if that happened, I mean, I think that this is happening almost uh, nowadays at the States. So that means that a lot of people uh, will be without a job. So how do you think uh, they're, they're going to compensate that part? Well, there is a contradiction on, on that one. Let me tell you that uh, so far I know there is a contradiction because um, a lot of people, uh, some experts are saying, not a lot of people, experts, because you got to be an expert in order to talk about the topic. They are saying that human beings never are going to be um, uh, put aside and give the task to machines. Remember that it's kind of funny. There was a robot working in a coffee shop and the robot got tired and explode. The robot got tired and explode. There was another situation similar to, and then say, so human beings, uh, we will always depend on the humans to perform certain tasks and some others they are saying that but this is this is there is a lot of contradiction on that one if we will start talking about it so we will uh, um, spend the hour talking about it so I don't there are many things about it okay so I was telling you that I remember Captain Picard saying uh, spot beat me up and then um, by 1990s we have almost the same the same device the telephone over there so um it's not far it's not so far like you said okay let's listen to this one page 67 exercise 9 perspectives <clears throat> part a listen to a survey about the future check the predictions you think will happen what will the future hold? Computers will recognize any voice command. You won't need a keyboard. Within 20 years... Uh, do computers recognize nowadays the voice? Do computers recognize your voice? My TV, yes. Yes, uh, uh, telephone. Yes, wow. Remember that you, now you can lock it up, uh, okay. unlock it with your voice give him a command that will be a command years scientists will have discovered a cure for baldness people will be living in cities under the ocean by 2020 world leaders will have eliminated terrorism robots will be performing most factory jobs by 2050 we will have set up human communities on Mars. Medical scientists will create an AIDS vaccine. Okay. It says, listen to the survey and check, if you had the material over there, the predictions you think will, have, will happen. <clears throat> What predictions will happen? What predictions uh, do you do you think it will happen? The first one, computers will That's recognize its voice command, yes. and I think also robots robots will be performing most factory jobs. Yes, in fact, uh, computers already recognize your voice. Humans being will be replaced by robots. Okay, and hum <laughs> uh, in factories. Okay, yes. we, we're talking about factories. Yes. Okay, uh, by the nineteen hundreds. Uh, Four was uh, needed a lot of a lot of people in order to assemble the car to make the cars. Now done. Uh, yes, Joselino. <clears throat> Maybe I don't know there were words. Uh huh. What's happened with this one? The prediction is is possible. Oh yes. But yes yes in fact uh, if you will refer to uh, words uh between countries it's already happened that is not a world war three is is another issue but some experts said that we are very close to that one but uh, let's ask it 
doesn't depend which church you go to. Let's ask God that that not happen. Okay, guys. In order to advance and continue, we using three forms uh, with will in order to express future time. One is the the one that we call it simple future, which is computers will recognize. Okay, that's the simple future. <clears throat> another, another is we'll have discovered. Okay, so in this case we use will plus have plus the film uh, uh, plus the past form of the verb. Okay, so sure. that's yes. This form is the uh, future perfect. I guess. Yes, yes. Uh huh. We'll have discover, we'll have eliminate, we'll have uh, build up, we have uh, a spoken. Uh, yeah, okay. Yes, exactly. And the other is, uh, the, the other is, uh, will, uh, con and, and the form uh, continues. So we'll be living, we'll be performing, we'll be a, uh, demanding, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So this is the three forms that we are going to add. So the lady over there is watching TV. She's kind of relaxed because she doesn't do anything, but uh, you know, it's kind of boring. So even though the control remote make you kind of, I'm sorry, um, I don't know if the term is correct, kind of lazy. Because you know, in my old times and you know, back 70s, uh, 60, well, I don't remember uh, very much about the 60s because, uh, and the 70s, because where I was living, uh, there was no TV, there was no electricity, but my grandmother lives in San Salvador. So when I visit her, uh, she had a TV, but we need to, okay, we want to watch Harding Infantil unless, and you have to stood up and go and change it, right? Did any of you uh, do that, did that? Or uh, you start uh, watching TV with the control remote? Uh, Carla Delgado? I had experience many, many years ago on a TV black and white. Yeah, we, uh, you are breaking, Carla. Did you hear me? Uh, not, so, not so well. And now? Now, uh, now, yes. Now, yes. I told you I have this experience many years ago. My uh -huh. father had a TV in black. White. Ah, yes. And you had to change it. And one of yes. my and uh, one of my uncle the 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 button was broken and we use a tenaza. <laughs> we use a tenaza to change it. And maybe some of you have lived that. Okay. So this let's see what are the ways that we live. Oh, there was a the, there is a vocabulary over there that is is very important. So it says uh, the first word it says. <clears throat> What is the first word? Boldness. Boldness, yes. Uh, what is boldness? Loss of hair Loss of on hair the hair. Uh, Loss of hair on the hair. So I mean no hair. So no need to use a, a hairbrush or a con. Eliminate. What is eliminate? To? Stop it. To stop, yes, to stop, okay, or uh, take it or uh, took it away, whatever. Basine, what is a basine? A medicine to prevent people from getting, getting disease. Yes, from getting disease, okay. So remember that with the, this COVID-19, um, uh, we were getting shots. So we got vaccinations. We got uh, we were we were getting shot, and the, there is a uh, we needed to use a vaccine. Okay, so these are these are the ways, guys. Let me here over here, and let's say predicting the future. 
Oh, again. Page 67. Exercise 10. Grammar focus. Predicting the future with will. Use will to predict future events or situations. Computers will recognize any voice command. You won't need a keyboard. Use future continuous to predict ongoing actions. People will be living in cities under the ocean. Use future perfect to predict actions that will be completed by a certain time. Within 20 years, scientists will have discovered a cure for baldness. By 2050, we will have set up human communities on Mars. Okay, so in the first sentence, we use what we call let's simple future. Why? We have will plus the base form of the verb, no changes. On the second one is the one we call it future continues. Why? We use will, the form of be, plus the ing or the main form. So we say people will be living in cities under the ocean. Okay. And you were right, it was Oscar or someone over there. We use future perfect. What is the future perfect? Uh, what form is the, the, the main verb? Verb one, two, or three? Three forms. Three. The three, the three, Marlene. Thank you. The three, Elizabeth. Uh, and everybody also. The verb three, okay? So it's, uh, we are using the uh, past participle or the perfect, whatever. But in this case, so we would say computers will be recognize, will recognize any voice command. You, you, um, you want, want, you need a keyboard. Uh, okay. Remember that when we, uh, and what is the full form of want? Will not. Will not. Exactly. The negative of will. The negative of will. The only thing, guys, let me tell you that nowadays experts said that American English, of course, I'm talking about American English academic, is you sound more natural when you use uh, contractions. And as they say, he is, the contraction will be? Yes. His. Yes. His. And instead of say, I do not, I do, do not, I say, I don't. I don't. He does not, we say, he doesn't. He doesn't. I will not, I say, I will. I won't. I, sh I should uh, not, I would say, Okay. Shouldn't. 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 okay. Experts say that when we use uh, when we speak English, uh, use contractions in order to sound more natural and more fluently. Okay, but don't believe Mr. Lopez. That's what an expert says. Okay, the second point is using uh, the the future continuous. I will be living in Sin City, and the third using the the future will plus have plus the perfect or past participle if you want to call it. So I got some examples over here, but let me minimize this one. Okay, are you able to see it? Oh, yes. now, now it's raining really hard over here. Okay, predicting the future, remember, in order to predict the future, we use will to predict the future events or situations. The example that we I have over there, we will have flying vehicles. We won't need cars. Here is, here is the simple form because the main verb is have, but we were using a noun over there. So give me another example. Another example. Let's use we. Uh huh. We. Uh huh. We, we. Okay. 
We will have playing basketball. I mean, you say uh, stop. What what is the uh, word that, that you uh, that you use? Have playing and have uh, playing. Like, like this. Playing. Have uh, have playing. Uh, ah, we will have playing. Okay. Ah, we will. Uh, you use in the same form. We will have playing. Uh huh. But playing basketball. Basketball. Yeah. Tomorrow. Um. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Tomorrow. That is a uh, future expressions. Okay. Uh. We will have playing. Aha. Uh -huh. Which okay, the sentence seems to be okay, but there will there is a better way to say this sentence. What would be the better way to say this sentence? And instead of saying we will have, what would be we'll have. A, huh? We'll have. Mm, no, le, I'm, I'm trying, to, this sentence seems to be okay, okay? It sounds okay, um, it has a meaning, but uh, there is a better way to say this one, and that will be using, and instead of have, what can we use? Be, will ah, be. 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 That's it. We will have playing basketball tomorrow. Mm-hmm. It sounds okay, but it would be much better if we will say the sentence specifically, we will be playing basketball tomorrow. Uh, do you know what I mean? Do, do you understand what I mean? Sure, I have a question. Yes. In your, in your example, say we will have playing by vehicle is 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 correct. It sounds okay, but uh, it's uh, I mean it sounds okay, but uh, let's see over here this ones. Uh, scientists will have discovered by in within in 20 years. So uh, by 2050, we will have set up. The, this we use have when seems to set up something or do something like more, um, more uh, that will benefit more then not just one person, but the human himself, but the planet himself. Uh-huh. So that's why in this one is more specific because you're not benefit uh, benefiting uh, the planet or the humans. You're benefiting a couple of, a group of people. So that's why to say, that's why it'd be better to say, um, uh, we'll be playing basketball. Look at the example over there. It said, we will have flying vehicles. Do we already have flying vehicles or no? No. Not really. Not really? What Not about, really, teacher. Ah, what about in Japan? In Japan, no, Japan, Japan. In Japan, there's uh, some models. Some models, not uh, everybody's using it, but uh, they're trying. Now they have a uh, They vehicle. have a, a magnetic train that don't yes. have contact with the floor. But they already have some models, like uh, Xiomara said, that uh, they are flying vehicles. They are not using, uh, common people are not using them, of course. So I uh, will have flying, we'll have set up, We'll have uh, discover. Uh, is we use will uh, have is think about uh, to benefit the humans 
in general, not a group of people. So that's why we say this one, aha. Uh -huh. Okay, what about, so this sentence, it will benefit a group of people. That's why it's, it's more suitable if we use will be playing basketball. Let's, let's think about all the people and let's use will have. Will, uh, oops, sorry, will have. Okay. Uh, let's say scientists, doctors, um, uh huh. Let's say um, it could be um, uh huh. We will have teacher. The example can be uh, we will have uh, more uh, teleworking than in person work. More we will have. We will have. We will have a more teleworking than ah, in, teleworking. in person work. Mm -hmm. uh, we will have. Uh... Maybe within within ten years. Yeah. Okay. We will have. Uh... But what will be the correct verb of that one? Uh, we will have. Uh... We will have people working uh, at home. We will have more. Uh, uh, we will have more. Okay, people uh, working. Uh, yeah, working at home. Than people presently. And uh, that people presently. Okay, we will have people uh working at home. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's correct for teacher. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. No. It's correct, yeah. but we can say we will have. Ah. Uh, the first example is a uh, half flying. Yeah, have flying. We have flying. In this case, say we will have, uh, we will have people. It's not be home. people working. No, people. but look over there. Scientists will have discovered. Scientists. Uh -huh. A question. In the structure about this sentencing, uh, Will will be subject plus how plus bearing three three form. Yeah, it will be uh, subject scientist will plus will plus have plus the third form of the verb. Which is, um I cannot think about mine. I cannot. We need to think about something over here because the the different. Let's let's try to put it over there, like this one. For example, we have we. Subject will plus have plus set up the uh, the parties the three forms of the verb right the third form of the verb uh, let's see uh, let's use that because there are not many uh, we will have uh, we this. will have done uh -huh. we will have uh, hold on that on that idea Hector hold, hold on that okay. <laughs> We, we will we have uh, done hold on hold on that let me write this one we will have discover discover new new planets new um new uh um oops uh, planets with uh -huh, within ten years, okay. Uh huh. Okay. Now so we got it more like 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 the one that will say okay. Um. Uh, who was? Uh, uh, Hector, what was your sentence? 
Uh, uh, I, I said, uh, will we have done the... We will have done... We will, we will have, have done... Done? Yeah, done, done the... I don't know. I, 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 my, my uh, sentence. Uh, uh, okay. Um, we will have done. Uh, let's try to complete uh, Hector's ideas over here, and then we continue with the others. Teacher. Uh huh. Silmara. So could it be within one hundred years, water will be more expensive than gas. That's a good one. Within five years, uh, we'll have more expensive. Yeah. And, uh, but uh, Hector's idea, we will have done, okay, let's say, um, let's say uh, great, um, great discoveries. Now it's not a verb. This Kobe, please. Okay. Um, in front zone. This these sentences are okay. So we will have done great discoveries in in the, in the near future. Uh, we will have discovered new planets within ten years. And this one it goes. Is it okay with these sentences? Are we okay with these sentences? Yeah, so far let's see. It. But this is not very common, eh? But we need to, to use it. It's important to increase. Okay, this is uh, the future. The, uh -huh. this is the future continues. This one was, uh -huh. will. And this is the future continue. This is easier. Uh-huh. It says, use the future continue to, pre -ex, uh, to predict ongoing actions. People will be living on the moon. Another example. Another similar example. example, people will be living on the Mars, the planet on, Mars. On, on Mars, on Mars, yes. Oh. Another is, another is people will be uh, traveling, uh, uh, traveling uh, from Earth, to Mars. I mean, uh, I mean, going on like this, okay? People will be uh, traveling from Earth to Mars and backward from Mars to Earth, okay? So that's 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 the continuous over there. Another another example. This is people. Uh, uh huh. People will be buying a robot for making some okay. something. Yeah, people will be buying uh, different uh, stuff. Uh huh. Uh, exactly. So that's the present continuous, and this one and this one is supposed to be, and the example over there is, is similar. But let's see, people will recognize, computer will recognize. And maybe this is the simple. Uh -huh. use, the pre, uh, use the future perfect to predict actions that will be completed by a certain time. It's not completely yet. So it says within 20 years, scientists will have invented methods of traveling faster. By 2060, humans will have gone to many planets. Mm -hmm. 
Another? Teacher. Uh -huh. I have a question. Yeah. This example have no. This example are in the past participle. Uh, yes, yes. It says uh, over here a uh, future perfect. It's the call it uh, future perfect. That the the uh, the auxiliary verb. The, we have two auxiliaries over there. I mean the auxiliary verb. We have two auxiliaries. Sorry, two auxiliaries. Will and have. <laughs> And the main verb, which is go, and the participle is gone. But it's going to be in all examples. Do you want to do? Yes. Because, yes, but, it has. Okay. But in the first example that you have, um, in the other one, mm -hmm. and you have, uh, will be flying. Oh, and this one. Know. And the previous yes, one. I, I don't understand very well because the verb, I don't know, is going to be in, a, no, in the other one. I uh, know. If in we the, use, uh, we'll be flying, that will be on this one, uh, on the on the future continuous. That will be future continuous. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. And this one is, for example, it says something predicted action that will be completed by a certain completed okay. by a certain time. It's, it means it's not completed yet. Mama. It says within 20 years from now, in 20 years, uh, scientists will have invented methods traveling faster. Mm -hmm. So the actividad is no está completa. Será dentro de 20 años. Mm -hmm. Like by uh, what year is this one? 2023. So in order to get to 2060, uh, uh, humans will have gone to many planets and that's activity yeah. uh, it will be, by then will be completed. Uh, so means ahorita los, los humanos están en el acción, but 2060, we as a human being will be gone to other planets. So it's uh, ongoing, I'm going, um, uh, how do you call it? Uh, I'm going action. Ongoing action. Going action. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's see the. Let's see the. Some examples over here in order to understand better. Maybe I try to uh, make it easy like this one, but it's kind. Let's see. Uh, let me see on this one. Okay. Maybe from here we got the idea. Okay. Uh, much better than that way. So look at the grammar rules and word order. Remember that uh, uh, when we speak English, there is a word order. So the way that we say the things, we use a subject, verb, auxiliary, and so on. So for example, will, won, plus, ¿cuál es, cuál es el más? Is better. Uh huh. Uh, and, and base word. Okay. So, for example, say uh, computers. We recognize any voice command. Uh huh. You. You won't need a keyboard. You won't need a, a keyboard. For example, in many jobs right now, you don't put your finger. They recognize what? You go like this and they recognize? The face. The head, the face, exactly, exactly. So this is the simple form. Future continuous, we use? Will be, be plus, plus, and the example says? People will be living in cities under the ocean. Robots, robots will performing? Most mm -hmm. factory jobs. Factory jobs. Okay, that's no problem. This is uh, kind of simple, but we need to see in the future. Okay, so if we say something more personalized, uh, we use the, uh, the, the second. Uh, we can use both. I said, uh, tomorrow I will uh, take a nap in the afternoon. Tomorrow afternoon, I will be taking a nap Okay, so this is more um, personal. 
um, personalized. And by, for example, or what I'm saying, and ah, I was reading something that uh, and not in many years from now on, but uh, we're very close. Um, people will be traveling from New York to Japan in in about 30 minutes for saying for saying something okay so why because the the airplanes it will be a last faster a faster so people will be transportation yeah people will be flying getting to Japan in 30 minutes okay yeah teletransportation okay Future perfect will have plus the past participle. Within 20 years, scientists will have discovered a cure for baldness. Okay. Um, in order to understand this topic, um, I know that you're not very clear on this one. Uh, let's give a task for you and me. Let's bring some more suitable examples about th these topics, please. Okay. Using will, uh, will. Uh, for the three rules, okay? I will bring some other more examples, easier examples in order to clarify. In order to do that, let's see the, let's see the, let's complete these sentences. Oops. Uh-huh. In 10 years, fly from New York to Tokyo. Will take less than two hours. Uh huh. Will take less than two hours. Okay. Uh huh. The verse over there will take less than two hours. Uh huh. Can we answer in another way? Will have taken. Okay. But what about uh, the 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 future continues? Will be taken. Will be uh, taken. Will, uh -huh, will be taken less than two hours. Okay. Number two. Will, uh, uh -huh. They will sell will tell. computers that can translate perfectly from one language to another. And uh, we will sell. Uh huh. Or we. Uh, uh, Soon they will be selling computers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, number three. By the mail of the twenty no. first century, science will have a way to present again. Exactly. You know, there are some verse out that they tell you that they'll um, like in an uh, inductive way, they'll telling us that we we must use will have. Okay. So because it's an audience answer. So by the middle of the 21st century, science uh, science says, I think it was scientists because I type it. Uh, uh, will have discovered a way to prevent aim. Okay. And what about number four? Sometimes in the future, science will have invented a machine that transmit or talks. Yeah. What I'm realizing right now, and I always like to be honest, that there are telling uh we must use some specific verse with will have and uh, the clue the very good clue over there is discover and invent because that thing take time okay so um that's that's i will um, explain better that okay uh we'll have discover we'll have invented scientists Okay, number five. Teacher, uh, a little question. Mm -hmm. And if we use only will invent, is is correct, but in a general way? Uh, scientists will invent a machine that transmit our thoughts. Um, yeah, it's correct, but the idea is kind of short. 
Okay. Um, uh, because it's, uh, I might say that yes, but it's uh, kind of sure because it's an action that will take some time and uh, more than uh, we're talking like uh, years, maybe not as a short period of time. But it will be okay. Scientists will invent a machine that transmits our thoughts. Yeah, it's okay. But it was is okay. more is 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 better if we would say. We have invented. I have invented. Yes, and uh, number six. In less than a century. will be disappear most of the polar ice caps in many coastal cities okay and, uh, okay the 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 bird is melt that goes over here and the last one will be disappearing oh. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you know Mel, uh -huh. global warming here we using uh two different ways. The bird is smell most of the polar caps. What what did which one of the three forms is better over there? Will melt, will be melting, or we will have melt. We'll have melt. We'll have melt most of the polar ice in caps. Bath. In bath. And many sea coastal cities will have disappeared. Will, have the will, uh, be, will be will be disappearing. Disappear. Yes, will be disappearing. Yeah. Uh, so this uh, this uh, this statement is really really nice because um, you had to get the idea of it. Will uh, global warming will have melt most of. Uh, Pol uh, um, polar ice caps and many coastal cities will be disappearing. Okay, so that's 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 the way that it is. Um, but uh, uh, as I said, uh, I would bring some a couple examples for that, and uh, maybe you could, uh, if you have time. Of course, I see that you you're very busy as 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 all most Salvadorians. So help on that one. Okay, uh, let me take the attendance because this oh, this time was really tough. I can talk because it's raining very frequently. Uh, sorry, I didn't read it. People will be driving. Oh, this is uh, electric cars. Uh huh. Exactly. That's a good one. People will be driving electric cars. Uh huh. And who else? Give another. No, that's it. Ah, within 10 years, there will be more uh, teleworking than in a person work. Yes, that's good. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, Francisco was saying this one. Yes, uh, the rain came here. It is raining hard. The teacher. Ah, okay. Okay, let me uh, get the, the, the attendance, guys. Um, Let me just take the attendance. Uh, we don't bounce too, right? So after a while, using the topics, I mean the forms is 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 you get familiar with. Uh, but I understand that uh, some of the verbs are more suitable in order to say. Uh, hey, let me see why is not opening this one. Oh, right now.
It rained really hard over here, but it's very hot. How how about where you live? Is it hot? It's hot. No, it's no. so fresh. Ah, okay, maybe you. Okay, Ana Ivania. Present teacher. Okay, and uh, Daniel Alejandro, Daniel Alejandro Llanes. Present teacher, I'm here. Thank you. Oops. Eh, Eduardo José Melgar. I'm here, teacher. Francisco. Antonio Calderón. Present, mister. Eh, Gabriel José Hernández. Gabriel José Hernández López. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Giovanni Stanley Flores. I'm here. You were quiet today. Hector Ivan Perez. <laughs> yeah, I told you in the chat that I have. Yes, okay. yes, I, I just read it. Hector? Present, sir. Uh, Ivan, Ibra Ivan Ebrahim. Present, teacher. Jorge Alberto. Present, teacher. Uh, Jose Lino. I'm here, teacher. Julio Cesar Campos. Present teacher. Uh, Carla Selena Hernández. Present teacher. Carla René Delgado. Present teacher. Catherine Lisette Espinosa. Catherine. Uh, Luis Eduardo Méndez. Luis Eduardo. Eh, Marlene Elizabeth eh, Valle. Present teacher. Melissa Estefan Linares. Present. Eh, Michelle Beatriz Díaz. Present. Uh, Neptali Antonio Mejía. Present teacher. Eh, Os Oscar Alexander Santana. Oscar Santana. Oscar Abdulio Amador. Present. Present. Okay. Uh, Romeo Vladimir Rosales. Present. Eh, Sara Elisa Belloso. Present. Eh, Sofía Elizabeth Pérez. Present. Eh, Wendy Paola López. Present, teacher. Eh, Xiomara Violeta Salazar. Xiomara, you were there. Uh, Jenny Carolina Ardon. Present teacher. Okay. Present teacher. Uh, yeah, I, I, I remember the, that. My, I... my screen was uh, freezing. Ah, okay, okay. Okay, thank you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. I have a task. I will investigate a little bit more about that one, okay? Good night. Good night. Great. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Good night, everyone. Good night.